How does one take the architecture of the past and synthesize it with the digital reality of the present? 16 weeks, 19 students and one goal. A built form evoking the Baroque at the heart of AAT campus. The main idea of the project was trying to reproduce the feeling of looking towards the huge domes of the Baroque churches. That idea of spatial compression and expansion when you enter the space. Through a geometrical analysis of the most representative churches, we obtained six patterns that place one on top of another molds the interior, creating a cathedral-like shape. The final shape derived from the analysis of Baroque spaces is digitally cut into flat, horizontal contours which define the extents of each layer. This line work is exported as G-code and milled out of 8x4 sheets of OSB with a 3-axis CNC to create individual pieces, between two and four of which create one complete layer. Each piece is then sanded to create a more uniform edge, spray painted, and attached to its neighbors through the use of mending plates. Lay blob is secured into the ground by three concrete piers, each of which holds an embedded metal U-clip. Each of the clips in turn secures a column consisting of two painted 2x4 two studs. All of the layers slide onto the studs with two 3 quarter inch spacers inserted between each layer to provide porosity. The structure stabilizes itself with the compressive forces of each layer and resists lateral shear through the solid nature of the layers that span to all three columns. The form is situated immediately south of the iconic crown hall. The chapel's baroque flamboyance serves as an antithesis to the modernist argument of Mies van der Rohe. The distance between the plywood layers and its designs generates a see-through structure that bears traces of the fabrication process. Heads, but not bodies, enter the surprising enclosure where visitors experience the dislocation of being in two spaces at the same time. Visitors become part of the installation itself.